Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how we draw um, isometric cubes and simple shapes freehand, okay, without using the grid. Previously we have drawn isometric shapes using this grid. Now I appreciate you might not have a grid, you might not be able to print one off. So that's fine. The idea is that you can work up to this stage anyway where you know how to draw uh, an isometric shape freehand because you know what isometric looks like you know that it is an angle of 30 degrees diagonally in each direction like that so you should if you've been practicing be able to sort of just freehand that in anyway and then the vertical line is a 90 degree line up from the horizon but we never draw the horizon you never draw horizontally in isometric okay so, diagonally, horizontally, not horizontally, vertically, never horizontally. Okay, diagonally. So, I'm going just down a little. one way, diagonally the other. Okay. Thick lines, remember. Imagine there's a spider on here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six. That spider crawling around on here and he goes over an edge or over a line and you can no longer see that spider then that will become a thick line. Okay. So if he's crawling around and he goes over this line, you can still see the spider over here. Okay, so that stays thin. If he went around here, he would disappear. So that will be a thick line. Same for the bottom edge. Yeah. Oops. And bottom edge and this edge. And this edge. When it comes to doing ellipses, remember it needs to look slightly squished. Do not just imagine you're drawing the face of that. Don't just then do a simple circle in the middle because it's going to look wrong. Okay? It needs to be squished, it needs to be an oval or an ellipse. So add that in, try and get it even. It's freehand drawing, so it's never going to be exactly perfect. You should by now know what it. You should by now know what it looks like, and you can draw that in thick line there. Look, because the spider go over that one so it stays thin, because you can still see him. But if you went in there, you wouldn't see him. So that part of the ellipse will be thick. Okay, and so will this. All right. Remember, this is supposed to be a USB speaker or a Bluetooth speaker or something. Um, so. This is the, the hole where the speaker would be. You might want to put a bit of detailing in there, a bit of cross hatching to represent a mesh over the speaker. Okay, put some other ellipses on to show where the, um, the jack plug is going to go in, or something like that. Okay, we could have a little ellipse there for the LED indicator. Start adding details. As we go on, we're going to start looking at rounding the corners off, yeah, and making some more uh, complex shapes, okay?